Hey everybody, welcome back to Bones and Brews. So today we're gonna to make some pork butts so we can have some pulled pork for the family later. I was able to get two smaller pork butts with the boneless pork butts at Costco. And what I did is I've already trimmed some fat off of them, so I've got them ready to go right here. And I'm gonna show you how I prepare the pork butts like this, so nothing fancy. I'm not even gonna inject them. I'll show you what I'll do later to kind of keep them wet during the process. So first thing I'm gonna do is grab some gloves. And what I'll do is I am going to rub down both of the pork butts with some spicy mustard. And then I've got my pork rub that I make myself. I'm going to cover it in that pork rub. I've got my smoker going at about 225. And what I'll look to do is keep them on that smoker until the internal temperature of the pork butts hit about 165, 170. And then I'm gonna wrap them. All right, until the entire process is over, till it hit about 200 degrees. All right, so I'm gonna grab my pork butts here. Got my mustard. And I'm really just gonna give them a good coating of that mustard. Top, bottom, all the grooves, all the sides. Right, and then what I'm ready to do now, is give it a good coating of the rub. And that mustard's great because it'll help that rub to stick to it. I don't know about you guys, we love making pork butts on the smoker here around the house. And making lot, and I usually make a couple of them at a time. Even if we don't eat them all at once, I'll use my vacuum sealer and I'll, I'll seal pack a few smaller portions, throw them in the freezer. We can use them later, thaw them out. Great to thaw out and just have like a barbecue sandwich for myself from home alone or pull it out and thaw it out and throw it on top of some nachos. It's always good to have it for later as well. well covered in that rub. I'm gonna throw them on the smoker. I've got some apple wood on there as well. I just love the way the apple, the smoke of that apple wood in my pork butts. So we'll throw it on the smoker and we'll come back and check the temperature a little bit later. All right, so now that my pork butts are on the smoker, I'm actually gonna get ready to make my spritzer here that I'm going to use to spray on top of those pork butts during the cooking process. And it's really just a mixture of two items. Got some apple juice and some apple cider vinegar. Got my spray bottle here, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up. Get, it's basically gonna be about two parts apple juice, one part um, of the cider vinegar. I don't need a ton of it, to be honest. Got my bottle filled there. Cap it off, shake it up, and it's ready to go. So we're gonna wait a little bit longer and we'll start spraying off some of these pork butts. Probably do it a couple of times and then until they hit temperature before, right before we wrap them. All right, got the pork butts off the smoker. And they are looking nice and just golden across the top. They got nice bark on the top already. So they're at about 165 internal temp. So I'm now going to wrap them because they're smaller butts. I'm actually able to fit them both in the same pan. So we'll do it that way. The reason I like to use the pan because then I will shred that meat in that pan with those juices later. Just keep it all in one location. Take my foil. Start to wrap it a little bit. 
and I've got my bottle with my apple juice and apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna spray those really heavily inside of there. And then finish wrapping them up. Give it a good seal. And we're gonna put these back on the smoker, looking to get that internal temp between 195 and 200. All right, so I'm gonna throw them on the smoker. We'll come back and check them. All right, pork butts have been off. Been letting them rest for a little bit here. And uh, so we're gonna open them up and give it a little, we're gonna check out the bark, give it a little taste test and see what we got. All right. So you can see how dark, can see all that bark across the top of those. I'm gonna go ahead and, oh yeah, that looks awesome. So I think what I'm gonna do with that little piece that I just pulled off, I had made some Eastern North Carolina barbecue sauce. I made this yesterday, it's been in the refrigerator, so I'm gonna shake it up. I think I'm gonna take my spoon here and just dab just a little bit on there. And give this, give this a taste test. Oh. Mm. So good. Nice and moist on the inside. That bark is just so nice and crispy on the outside. And that Eastern North kind of barbecue sauce is perfect. I'm gonna take one of these pork butts and I'm gonna shred it and pour a bunch, in the, a bunch of this in there and mix it all together. Has some pork barbecue sandwiches here in a few minutes. But before I do, I think it's time to open a beer. So I've got from Fat Orange Cat Brewing out of Boston. This is their, this is not my beautiful beer and it's actually a New England style IPA. So let's give it a try. Oh, just great hazy look to this. Usually I can smell the hops, but right now all I can smell is that barbecue sauce, that apple cider vinegar coming out of that jar. Oh yeah, nice and those fruity hops in that beer smells so good. Oh yeah, that hits the spot because I love a good hazy IPA. All right, so we're gonna pull some pork in the house and have some sandwiches and uh, hopefully you enjoy the episode. If you like, if you wanna know more about the barbecue sauce, I'll put uh, that episode as well in the description. You can check that out back in episode 21. And uh, like always, like us, share us, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, we'll see you again on Bones and Bruce.